Eric, can you hear us waving to us over there? Well, let me just tell you that if you have a fear of heights, you may not want to watch this. We are on the 61st floor of the First Interstate World Bank Center. It is the tallest building in downtown Los Angeles, the tallest building west of the Mississippi River. Let's take a, a little bit of a walk over to the edge here very carefully. I'm going to be careful I don't trip to give you an idea of what the view is like. Down there you can see the uh, Harbor Freeway traffic moving along pretty smoothly at this hour. Kind of makes you dizzy, though, to, to watch it from here. You could use a little bit of Dramamine. But there are people who work with this type of environment, with this type of view, every day of the year. They are the window washers, and they have an amazing job. The people who keep L.A. skyscrapers looking bright and shiny don't really have time to be afraid. Sometimes I feel uncomfortable. If you look around and start looking at everything and trying to analyze how this machine works, um, it does get a little frightening. But you're so busy um, cleaning the windows or doing your work, concerned about other things, other aspects of the job, that you're not really considering what will happen if this happens. You just can't think about falling, even though you work 40 hours a week on a tiny platform 1,000 feet above the ground. A lot of people think Hector Garcia is crazy. For the past 12 years, he's worked as a window washer on some of the tallest buildings in the city. The day starts on the roof of the First Interstate World Center, 74 stories above the street. They gather their cleaning supplies, no Windex, just detergent and water, then strap themselves in. You wear a harness on this job. A strong gust of wind could mean a long fall. Wind is the enemy. If it blows harder than 25 miles an hour, they'll have to stop their work and get off. Let's get a little closer. Right there. The view is magnificent from here for those who can bear to look. On a clear day, you can see the ocean. You look down on the other skyscrapers. But aside from the work environment, the job itself is pretty ordinary. It takes seven or eight weeks to clean every window on the whole building hard, time-consuming, manual labor. But people appreciate their work and are fascinated by it. There's a big board of directors meeting that will come down, wash the windows for about 15 minutes, and the whole entire meeting just stops. They look out the window, they watch us, they continue, they shake their head and continue at their meeting. The window washers themselves see some pretty strange things as they go about their work. Oh, we've had a couple of flashers, uh, women, to come up and start just flash us. Uh, that's always welcomed. And then there are the occasional romantic encounters between office workers. Bosses and secretaries, that kind of stuff. Uh, I can't comment on that. All in all, it makes for a pretty interesting job. Hector Garcia is the ultimate outside observer of LA's corporate lifestyle. And he has no plans to trade his position for one on the other side of the glass. I've got Hector Garcia with me right now. I guess the people, a lot of people would like to know is what happens if there's an earthquake and you're on the rig? Well, uh, the rig has several safety devices built into it, so the machine automatically shuts down. Uh, once it shuts down and after the earthquake's over, um, we just go reset all the breakers or switches, and the machine continues to operate normally. What happened during the last quake a few months ago? Uh, we were approximately on the, like, the 48th floor. And um, the building shook quite a bit. The rig shook quite a bit. Uh, the workers got tossed around a bit. All the safety devices worked perfectly. Um, the workers, however, became very religious very fast. I know I would be religious fast, too. It's kind of a job uh, for people who are, have got a lot of uh, courage. And uh, that's, this is going to wrap up my report here. i got to get inside and hold on to a railing or something. Barbara, back to you.